Yeah, I've seen that number. It's so powerful. It is so good. We don't want to lose that momentum. We want them all out of there so we can get the legislation legally that we need. And we want to take the states back, which is why Deborah Medina getting elected is so important, to send that message. Bob Chapman, stay there. Coming up in the next hour, I'm going to open the phones up, 1-800-259-9231. And we're going to have Rob Dew in our office, who knew Joe Stack, in studio in the end. We're going to have Rob Dew, who knew Joe Stack, in studio the last 20 minutes. Bob Chapman uh, with us for a few more segments. We're going to open the phones up for a few questions for Bob coming up in the next segment or on any of these issues. 1-800-259-9231. Now, look, the media has had a lot of different aircraft, but we have the tax records. It was a PA-28 Cherokee um Aircraft, a Piper, is that a Piper? Registered owner, Stack Joseph A. Okay, that's the aircraft. The media was saying this uh, Cirrus aircraft, that, that's not what it is. Now, here's the Texas Division of Emergency Management document. Give me a document cam shot on this, guys. Texas Division of Emergency Management, fiscal year 2010, training calendar, October 2009, September 2010. Here's February, and they were running all these different Emergency, multi-hazard emergency planning drills and others. And all the drills ended on the 18th, yesterday. So maybe that's why those vehicles were out there. Maybe it was just part of a drill, or maybe not. They normally run drills in association with this. Uh, Bob Chapman, going back to you, um, so much is happening with the economy separately what happened with gold going down the last month, now surging up again? Well, I think that's a good question. And, you know, we've just had gold negative news, supposedly. Uh, first of all, uh, the uh, situation in Greece was uh, in the media interpreted it as being bad for gold. And, of course, it, it really wasn't because uh, gold didn't go down. And then we had uh, the IMF come out and said, well, we're going to sell some gold. And that turned out to be a non-event. And then, you know, higher interest rates has been touted as bad for gold. And uh, gold went down and came back up again. And so uh, gold seems to be impervious in here to the downside. And it's up 460 right now here in the late trading uh, for the April month. And that will go on for about another hour. Uh, the stocks are mixed to slightly weaker. Uh, and, you know, it's a Friday. People are evening up the books. And so uh, it's it's hard to get a real read on it. But if I had to guess, I think uh, gold will be up next week. And uh, if if it goes through uh, twelve twenty twenty four in that area, then uh, we're going to very quickly see a move up toward fifteen hundred to sixteen fifty. And if it doesn't happen uh, by the beginning of April, uh, it it may very well happen before the end of the year. Uh, although I think much more quickly, uh, especially in in view of what I said earlier about the the problems being expedited, I don't think that uh, Goldman Sachs uh, ever thought that they would run into the buzzsaw that they're into right now because of their secret uh, advice to these different nations and how to keep two sets of books. And, of course, uh, it's against the law, but that doesn't mean anything for the likes of Goldman, Morgan, and City. I mean, these people are criminals. And I spent 28 years in Wall Street. I think i got a right to say that. And, uh, and so I think that uh, this is causing the aluminous behind the scenes to have to, even though they don't want to, expedite what they're doing. And every time you do that, you make mistakes. And uh, I think by next year, uh, all this thing's going to start coming down bad. And, and, you know, as I mentioned earlier, were they to bring it down uh, in October, down being the sovereign nations defaulting simultaneously and having uh, a chaos within the financial world worldwide, 
would give them an excuse not to have an election. Bob, stay there. Let's come back and talk about that, because that's quite an announcement from you. A year and a half ago, you saw the implosion in three years. Now you may be revising. It is already the fourth and final hour of this Friday edition. Bob Chapman of the InternationalForecaster.com is our guest. I'm Alex Jones of InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. I want to say hi to all the great radio listeners out there and also the PrisonPlanet.tv viewers who are such key supporters of this radio show. You make it all possible. Now, Bob's going to be with us till 15 after. We're going to get more into the economy here in just a moment and have him continue with that question I just posed. He's saying he believes they may be moving up their time frame to fully implode things because every day they lose more credibility. And that's scary from Bob because he's always been you know, saying it's further out in the future. We'll talk about that coming up in the next segment briefly before he leaves us. Right now, let's take a few calls. It'll be on a bunch of issues. Alex in Canada, you're on the air. Uh, it's Alex in Vancouver. Um, I just want to say... I've, always, I've had the gut feeling they're going to do something at the Olympics for a long time now, maybe about a year. I've always said you don't spend a billion dollars on security and then not stage a terror attack. And now on the heels of this, I really feel that they're stirring up 9-11 memories, and everyone's thinking 9-11, 9-11. Well, they don't even have to say terrorism, but you're still thinking 9-11. And ever Because since it's the, a uh, plane into a building, yes. Exactly. And ever since that uh, article about two weeks ago by We Are Change Vancouver about uh, possibility of false flag, uh, Kinder Morgan being bought out by Goldman Sachs and the Carlisle. And now it's in a Canadian newspaper. I meant to get to that, that they've caught police provocateurs again. And then they uh, lost that two times of ammonium nitrate mysteriously. Now, my big thing is I started thinking, now, when are they going to do this? And what I came up with is February 22nd, 2-2-2, two, 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 because we all know they love to use silly numbers. 3-3-3-7-7-7-9-11. And, three, 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 seven, 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 nine, and that being three days away, this happening right before that, they're stirring everyone's thoughts up about terrorism, 9-11, 9-11. And all of a sudden on Monday morning... We'll see if I'm right or not. Hopefully not. I've gone as far as to bet people money this is going to happen. Now, I know that's kind of immoral. Or about, this well, is well I hope you're wrong, that... but, but Alex, I appreciate your call. Let's get a comment from Bob Chapman on that. Um, we'll just have to see. I, you know, the possibility certainly exists, and they are into numerology. And, uh, you know, I'm surprised that something didn't happen in uh, in Vancouver. And uh, I know people who I talk to all the time who live there, and many of them, you know, many subscribers there. And uh, they say that they've, uh, it's like a, a guarded camp. And, uh, you know, the Olympics haven't gone over that well. Uh, the American Idol is uh, outpointing them, so to speak, which is rather surprising. And uh, And it just hasn't drawn what, the producers would have liked it to draw. Well, people are sick of police states. Most Europeans won't come here now because of the police state. Well, that's true. In fact, what's happening is that most Americans don't want to fly and only fly if they absolutely have to. And you can tell that because of the dropping amount of people who uh, are using uh, airplanes in America uh, commercially and uh, and uh, the price of tickets continues to soar. Uh, they're up about, I would say, 40 to 50 percent over the last few years. But see, we and have the head of NASA Climate and the U.N. people and others saying they want to make us stop flying. They want us to stop driving. So there's some stratas of business that don't like it, some big airline CEOs saying don't put the scanners in from Australia to the U.S., but the real head honchos, they love the fact that people aren't traveling. Your take on that, Bob? Well, uh, I, 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 I can't figure that out. I, I, you know, we're looking at a situation where if there are people who are running airlines and they don't want people to fly, they're not going to be in business very long. Now, if they're executives with other companies, well, that might be, you know, the party line, so to speak, uh, by the elitists. But, no, uh, that's what I'm saying. The airlines, all of them are saying they don't like it uh, on record. But Chertoff's got to make his little bit of money, so it, it, it's over. Yeah, well, that's disgusting. Chertoff, man, he looks like a vampire out of Nosferatu movie. I mean, literally. Well, maybe we, maybe we can cast him. <laughs> we ought to put a picture of... 
Nosferatu up next to Chertoff. You can't, I mean, literally, it's like they're twin brothers or something. Bob, stay there. Let's get into the economy. Then after Bob leaves, just Ron, Jennifer, Fred, Dan, others. Wide open phones. And then in the last 20 minutes, I'm going to have somebody who knew Joe Stack in studio here.